Hello everyone. In this video, we will be doing March 2020 Paper 4 A-Level Practical of Information Technology. We are going to do the task Web Programming. The first task is Spreadsheet, then Animation, Graphics and Mail Merge. All these tasks has been already done and I have uploaded it. You can see the link in the description. So in this one I'll be doing question 5 which is web programming. Open the mark conversion task.html in a text editor. I'm using expression web here. Open the editor. So first we'll open the file, open, this is the folder in which we have all the files of March 2020 and the previous files. Now we have to open mark conversion task. So open this, you can see the design here. And this is the code. Now we'll see the question. Add JavaScript code to prompt the user to enter a mark and display the mark entered and the correct grade using the text. So this text has to be shown for number of marks entered, marks the um, grade awarded is. And this is the question. So that means we have to prompt, we have to prompt the user to enter a mark and display the mark entered that means this is the way we display the marks and then for the corresponding mark we have to display the grade so the grade calculation is shown here students who score these marks these are the conditions for the grade calculation one example is given so the page must display this way if this if the user enters 68 it, it must display this way for 68 marks the grade awarded is B. Insert suitable programmer comments to explain the parts. Save the page as mark conversion. So let us see the page. This is the design of the page. So when you click, click the button, this is the way it should work. Click the button to enter the mark and display the grade. So when you click on this button, it should give it should give us an option to enter the mark and then the grade must be displayed so in the code you can see that when you click on the button the action which has to be done is when you click on the button the action which has to be done is this function on click convert mark function so we have to define a function called convert mark and that function must have all the options to enter the mark and to display the grade. So first we will define a function in the script part of the code. So after the body tag I will include the script the script tag. Now inside the script I'll be entering the function. So the function's name is the format of writing a function is you have to write the keyword function then the name of the function. So here this is the name of the function. So I'm just copying it so that there is no changes in the case or anything. So this is the function. Now let us define the function. The function will come in two braces like this. So first what we have to do is we have to enter a mark or we have to give a prompt for the user to enter the mark. So you can declare a variable. Variable is declared by using the keyword var variable 
mark. So this is the variable or mark is the variable in which we will be storing the mark entered by the user. So we will give a prompt now variable mark equal to prompt start the bracket then enter the message there. So the message which can be given to the user is enter the marks score. So this is the text. So I have given a variable called mark and to that mark will prompt the user to enter the marks. So when the user enter the marks that will be stored in this variable. Now we are going to calculate the grade. So in order to calculate the grade I am going to use a nested if function because there are many conditions. You can see the conditions are given like this. Students who scored more than 87 will get A grade between 65 and 86. That means uh, after 87 above 65 you B grade and then 37 and 64. That means from 37 onwards it will be C and all others less than 37 or recorded as absent will be F. So we have the limits are 87. 65, 37, 87, 65 and 37. So I am going to enter any function, nested if function, if mark greater than or equal to 87, 87. So I am declaring a variable grade. Grade will be in grade the grade will be stored. Grade equal to A. Next else if else if mark greater than or equal to next one was 65. If it is greater than or equal to 65 grade equal to B. Next one is <coughs> else if mark greater than or equal to 37 grade equal to C. For all other cases that is whenever it is less than 37 and also when the student is absent the grade must be F. So the last condition I will just give an else statement because this is the last statement else grade equal to F. This is how it is given. Now, so we have entered the mark, we have prompted the user to enter the mark, we have calculated the grades through this nested if function. Now next is the display. The display must be this way, 4, the word 4, then the grade mark, then marks the grade awarded is the grade awarded. So in order to display, I will use an alert function. To display. So alert for so this is the word for then close the inverted comma. Now to display the mark. Mark is a variable so that has to be displayed using a plus sign mark for mark What's the condition for mark? Yeah, for mark. So this is the mark entered. Then this is the text which must be displayed. So for mark, so this is the variable mark in which our mark is stored. This mark. And then mark entered, the grade awarded is. 
now we have to give the variable grade this is the grade which we have calculated using the nested if function grade then we can close the bracket so this is the display now let us see whether it is working now let us check whether the code is working according to the requirements so in order to check first we will preview the page in the browser so first let us save this file save save as the name given is mark conversion followed by your candidate number center number so we can give center number and candidate number and save now let us preview in the browser and check whether the code is working so preview in browser so this is the page now click to enter the mark let us click here you can see the prompt enter the marks code so when i enter any mark above for example i'm entering 90 so it is above 87 the grade must be displayed as a give ok you can see the message displayed as an alert for 90 marks the grade awarded is a so this is how it works you can just refresh and see and with any other grade i'm entering a grade which is less 20 give ok you can see the uh, grade awarded is f so this is how the page works now let us add programmer comments to wherever we have entered the code so this is where we have entered so in order to enter a comment you can put double slash so here you can give defining the function when you click the button now this part is the prompt for user to enter the marks now here you can give nested if functions nested if function to calculate the grade and now this is the last one displaying the marks and the grade so this is the code which we have entered and these are the user comments or the programmer comments So that's all for now. Please continue watching my videos. Subscribe, like and comment. I'll be coming with another video. Thank you.